Okay, Tina, I am sending you stencils. You'll need to get the wood rounds. Um, I bought ones that were 3.1 to 3.5, so that's what these are sized for, these stencils. Um, you can take like a fine grit sandpaper and do a light sanding over top if you want. That does make for a cleaner um, actual stencil. So, and you can see how clean the lines are if you go really tight. So this is what I'm showing you right now. I wanna show you how hard you should press. So when you get it, they'll look like this. This grid on top is the transfer tape. So you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna peel it back. Now, if it comes up like that, I want you to take a credit card and squish it down. And that will keep the image on the tape because you want it to transfer together. So there's nothing on here. Everything's on this little piece, okay? Now you're gonna lay it on your wood round however you wanna position it. And then this is the most important part here. So you're gonna take that credit card that you have and you're gonna push it down over top of this tape. Don't do it once the tape is gone because you'll wreck your image but really push it like hard into this wood. You're trying to get it on like in the cracks. I mean, that's how deep you wanna get it. Because once you put the paint on it, paint is thin and can run underneath of your stencil if you're not careful. So just keep working it. Just be careful not to gouge it because you can move your stencil uh, pieces if you like dig to so just go tight around the whole image. And then, once you do that, for good measure, take your thumb and just rub it. Um, I've done so many of these where they've bled and then it doesn't look nice. So this is just a good way to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay? And you're going to peel back this tape and that exposes all of this wood underneath, and this is what you're gonna paint, okay? So I'm just using black chalk paint for mine. It's just acrylic, it doesn't, it's nothing special. Um, so use a small paintbrush and just do sort of like light coats. Um, it's not gonna be anything, you know, no special technique or whatever. Um, but lightly do it all around the spaces. And if you're under a light, it'll help because sometimes with, because the stencil is raised, your, um, brush doesn't push it all the way into the space. So if you get underneath of a light, you'll be able to see if you've missed any spots, the wood will show through the black. And um, that'll help kind of make sure you got everything. Because if you don't get everything close, then when you peel it up, anything that was left is just going to look unfinished. Also, make sure you don't get outside of your blue stencil because then you'll paint just the wood in a random place and you don't want that. If it happens a little bit, just take that sandpaper that you used to smooth it out. And it will, um, it should come out, but, you know, if we can avoid that, that would be ideal. Okay, so now it's all painted. Um, I have these tweezers. They're really sharp tweezers. I, this is what I use. You can use, you know, a pin. Uh, from a sewing kit, you can use whatever, but you want to get underneath and peel up the stencil. And you'll see that there are going to be pieces inside that you'll need to peel up, and those are important. So that's what something sharp is good for. So each one, you want to be careful not to gouge the wood, but you need to push into the wood a little bit to get underneath of these little pieces. So 
So like little lightning bolt. See that? All the little bits. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then just put some sort of string and a bow. I just hot glue a bow. But um, yeah, I mean, you can do, I sent you a couple of different designs. I sent you the Deathly Hallows Christmas tree, the love, um, Harry in the castle with the Quidditch. Um, and I think there was one more, oh, this one. So just a different Deathly Hallows. Um, so if I get other ones going, I'm trying some other ones out, so I'll let you know how they turn out. I hope this helps you, and I hope you enjoy crafting.